any challenging we're facing in our life. This doesn't matter political, ecological, your family, even yourself, your thinking, doesn't really matter what problems or challenges you're facing. But you do need a space, which is you are not entangled in this kind of challenges. If you look at somebody else who has problem, when you look at somebody who has problem, somehow you can see clear what's going on and you can very easily give advice. But when you are in the same situation, somehow it seems so horrible and there's no way out. Why? So actually you are coming out of this. You are not really not care of this, but you're looking at the situation in some way from the side, not from your own ideas or your own expectation, but see the things as it is. You're not entangled in it. You're just seeing it how it truly is. So if you see the nature how it truly is, not depending on your likes and dislikes, you naturally see the how, what to do, how to respond to it. But you entangle in it, and when you also have your own ideas, you have your own likes and dislikes, then it's very hard to do anything. But this don't know mind is actually you stepping a little bit aside. It doesn't mean I'm not involved in it. Actually, you're more involved when you're not entangled, when you're seeing clearly. Seeing clearly is basically being first with in the know and then seeing the truth. Um, recently, when I was in Lithuania, I really enjoy this one uh, kind of incident who actually even more clearly showed me this situation. In Lithuania we say we have this word we use very naturally to everybody. So somebody's thinking we say he's drowned in his thinking. So it has the word like everybody would use it. And I was like, yeah, drown in the thinking. And he's like, that's true. That's what happens. When we have so much thinking, we are drowning it. It's like you're drowning water. It means you don't, you're not above the surface. You don't see the real world. You're only inside the water. So only what you experience is only that's what your world underneath the water. Maybe it's beautiful, maybe it's not. But you're not connected to the world. You're not connected to what is happening. You're not connected to the truth. You have your own truth, but not the real world. And same thing when you drown, it also represents your death. So you're not responding to anything what is on the world. It means you're not responding to anything what is on the surface. So being this don't know is actually some way you coming up from the water. You see the world. Finally, you see the world. You don't know what's going on, but you see it. And the more you see, you start seeing, oh, that's the truth. So if you see what's happening, then you can do something. So first step, that's to know.
for recording. Okay. The black tomato and here's another <laughs> one which is not in the bag but I think it's almost ripe maybe and usually when you know they're ripe he will fall all of a sudden the whole greenhouse has a smell of the uh, honeydew melon oh. and it's just like ah. you see the honeydew melon in the bag so it won't fall and one is down here so we'll have the orange also yellow Right. So this is funny because we, we call them light bulbs. Light bulbs. Yeah, you know the tomato? It's yeah. all the shape this thing, so we just we kind of Aww. just like light bulbs. <laughs> Frost. Thank you. So the carrot is straight from the garden. Wow. Thank you. So you can see the Yay, sunflower. Oh. <gasps> wow. <laughs> Wow! <laughs> Here we go! Here we go! Ar prisimene, veikis tas vėl Mūsų saulė, mūsų dangus, senos gėlus draugus Ir modino sakys, ten kur seno, seno miesto sienos Pasislės vaikystės dienos ir lietus nuplaus 